after the long journey that began with AMS1, mm -hmm. how does it feel to finally get here? <laughs> uh, I am actually very calm. Hmm? I'm confident everything will be okay because we did so much tests at CERN in the accelerators and uh, we tested detector twice in the accelerators and test in the thermal vacuum chamber in ESA and we have taken the detector apart, assemble, apart, assemble three times so I think everything will work. When did you first get the idea of building such a challenging detector for space? Uh, after SSC, I began to think maybe I should do something different, not always in accelerators. And then I remember in early 94, I did an experiment to show an anti proton and an anti neutron can form an anti neutron. So anti-nuclear matter exists. Similar experiment was also done by Professor Takiki School at CERN. And so I began to get to, th to think, maybe I should do an experiment in space. And now we have the technology to do that. That's about the, in spring of 94. How do AMS-1 compare with AMS-2? Uh, uh, AMS-1, the, the magnet dimension is the same but the detector is much simpler and it's just proof of principle proof of magnet can operate in space MS2 of course has many many detectors many many channels What, what do you expect from uh, the LHC? I do not know for this you have to ask uh, Professor Hoyer not me but uh, do you feel competition from the LHC? Because oh. some of the scientific, scientific objectives are similar, overlapping. No, they are complementary. Uh, if uh, complementary things, no competition. They, they both, both are doing very important things. You said in the press conference, uh, mm -hmm. your definition, the key to discovery, is mm -hmm. to go and look for the unknown. Yeah. Can you say that more expanded again? Because that's oh, very yeah. nice. Uh, look. Uh, the ma first major discovery in PS, neutral current. When PS was built, nobody thought about neutral current. And uh, so, Mo uh, Brookhaven, when the AGS was built, was studying nuclear force. Instead, he discovered tau neutrino, the J particle, uh, not tau neutrino, two kinds of neutrino, and uh, the J particle. And so, the, uh, so, what you predict, what you discover, are not often very different things. Is this what young physicists should put in their mind if they want to design new experiments? This I do not know. This I can only mention about my own experience. But uh, what would you would be your advice to students today, physics students? Physics is a very difficult thing, particle physics involving large amount of group, large people, large group work together. Unless you think physics is the most important thing in your life, you should not get into it. When did you first arrive at CERN? Uh, March 30th, 1993. 1963. 1963. Yeah. I did the experiment together with the Jizan people. When I first came to CERN, high energy physics was dominated by the United States. Most of the people at CERN take a look what was done at Brookhaven and do similar experiments. Now, the table has completely changed. Everybody in the United States, many people in the United States come to, to, uh, to CERN. CERN now really has become the center of high energy physics in the world. What are you most proud of in your long and successful career? Uh, uh, this doesn't enter into my mind. Normally I do experiment one after another very carefully. I never do two or three things at the same time. So 
don't have anything very uh, particularly proud of. I guess getting a Nobel Prize could be counted on that. And uh, I would say I have been lucky. I have no major disappointment. Thank you very much. It was Thank great. You.